Hello cutie pies. Welcome back to another video. We are at Target today. We're going to shop around together. Look at the fall fashion. Look at plus size finds. Look at home decor. Look at everything as we all do in Target. Um, we found a really good spot like right at the entrance. It's right there. So if that's not good luck, I don't know what is. So we're starting at like the dollar spot. Um, first thing that caught my eye, look at this. A few other ones too, but that one was the cutest to me. And then, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We can't, we cannot look at that yet. They have spider web fill for a dollar. Okay, but why are these actually super cute? I love this one, but they have a couple of different ones too. A bunch of these, which this one has like a bat at the top and then this one has an apple, super cute. Some signs, $3, a happy Halloween. Enter if you dare. And then, oh, this beware one and this pumpkin charcuterie. These are so, so cute though. I'm not ready to do a Christmas shop with me yet, but that, oh my gosh. Going into fashion now. So this kind of seems like a holiday collection. I love these. I especially love this brown one, but I also really like the traditional black one too. Some super pretty colored jumpsuits. These are the Wild Fable brand and they actually do carry plus size here at this store. So this is all like wild fable through here. Um, this would be super cute for a holiday. Like if you put this underneath and a cardigan over it, how pretty is that? Nothing else sticking out to me too much here. They just mostly have like their basics. Um, but I do really like the color of these cargo pants. Again, wild fable. Um, these bodysuits though are really, really nice. I like the like super slinky um, arm <laughs> sleeve. I don't know what you would call that, but I love that color right there. Oh, these, those are so pretty. I wanted to mention more about these because these are only $12 and they come in a ton of different colors. I don't wear a lot of graphic tees, but if you're looking for them, Target's a really good place to get them because they're pretty affordable. Okay, in the Universal Threads row now, these are really, really great um, basics. They are always at a really good price too, and they have obviously a ton of colors. Walking away from Universal Thread over here to a new day, those sweaters look really, really nice. Let's see how much they are. 25 is not terrible for a sweater. But these, I'm gonna try a pair of these on because this is a New Day brand. They're $25, but these look very similar to these that I have on where they look more elevated, but they're super cozy. Again, they're definitely adding some like holiday uh, apparel in here already. I mean, I'm not surprised everything is getting like earlier and earlier, but those are quite nice. Oh, what? Those are super pretty. Okay, all of this is a new day, and I actually really like a lot of things I'm seeing here. These and these, super pretty. I like that too. Let's see how much these are. 32, ooh, that's a little high, <laughs> but they are really cute. And then these sweaters, like this color is really nice. The material is incredibly soft, and they are 25. And then this one that I was telling you all I like, $30. It's a lot for a sweater, but it's it's really soft. So if you're in the market for one. So in this store, accessories are kind of in the middle. Um, so we'll go back to accessories after we try some things on. But here is the Future Collective brand. Let's see if there's anything that I can find here. So the only thing in this that I like is this, but I would like never have any place to wear this but if you have to dress up for work or something that's a really really nice blouse and it is 32 dollars to knox rose now 
Um, I never find too much in here that I like, but we'll still peruse and see what we can find. I do like the colors of this, but I just don't like the top of it very much. Um, so these colors always, I'm always gravitated towards those. I really do like this. Let's see. What is this dress? Okay, so that's cute, but not cute enough for me to want to have it personally. But it is oh, forty dollars. That is definitely not worth it to me. <laughs> Into Ava and Viv now, which is the true plus size. There's a ton of different dresses here. I'll see if any stick out to me. But so far, looking at them, I'm not gravitating towards many of them, except maybe this right here. Oh wait, this is Knox Rose. But yeah, that's super cute. $30. Oh, it's a medium. Okay, little mix match stuff here. Okay, some newly released things here. The first thing I see is this. That looks so nice. Let's move the shirt and see what it is. Okay, guys, this is so pretty. I have not looked at the price yet. We're gonna try this on. I don't even want to know, but okay, 50. I mean, 50 for a big, nice winter jacket is not terrible to me. We're trying that on. Again, following the holiday theme, I really like these satin camis and then they have them like in similar colors in the long sleeves. So those are nice. Let's see how much they are running. Um, 15. Let me know if you guys like when I'm including prices or if you don't care about the price either way. This top is pretty cute too. This sweater, it is 30. This dress, I don't know how I feel about it, but these, that is really, really cute. Let's see, that is 40. So this dress is kind of chilling by itself. I mean, I really like this one too, and I think I'm gonna try that on, but this one is in an XXL by itself. It's $30, I'm gonna try this on as well. My most favorite dress is here. If you follow me on any socials, you know I fell in love with this dress. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. So, so cute, and then this, is mix matched. It's a future collective, but I really like this top. I think it's super whimsical and pretty. Another noteworthy item, this um, probably pleather leather jacket, $50. It's really nice. Here's some sweaters and a random pair of shoes. <laughs> These are just traditional sweaters, $35. These pair of jeans I've tried on before. I'll insert a picture again, but these are so, so cute. I highly, highly recommend these. Okay, friends, we are in the fitting room now. This is the outfit that I had on for the day, and I decided to do a voiceover because it was quite loud in the fitting room, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys could hear everything okay. But these pants, so I do love that they have, like, the elastic top, but they're just a little bit too tight for me. I think I might would need a 3X, but they only go up to an XXL in store, so that would be something I'd have to order online, but... I do like the way they fit. They're just a little bit too tight on the tummy. And if you could see, like, the first pair that I was wearing that day, you could tell the difference. That's kind of how I would prefer it to fit. So this one, again, I tried this in the XXL. This was, like, the standalone one that we saw earlier. And the only thing about it is it's a little too tight on the chest. So anything with Ava and Viv, I wear a 2X. And the XXL is just a little bit too tight. And, yes, they are two different sizes, if you know, you know. <laughs> but... I do like the way that this looks. I am 5'4 for reference. I love the colors on this and I love the pocket. And I like that it is a little bit more low cut. You could wear it like to a date night. It would look super cute for that. But I like this one overall. We just need to go up one size. So this one is kind of our first true dud. <laughs> so if you have a large chest like myself, this is probably not going to work for you because you can't wear a bra. But if you don't wear a bra, you're going to be like spilling out of it. Um, and I know that it's a satin material, so I wasn't expecting it to be very like loose at all, but it is extremely tight fitted. So with the right body type, I could see this being super cute. But for me and my little apple shaped body, it's a no from me just because the fit is just not flattering. And again, my chest is uh, spilling out of it. This though, this is like quintessential 
Josie fall dress. I'm obsessed with this. This is in the 2X. I do love this ruching at the top that I'm showing you all. And then the nice balloon sleeves. They're super long and oversized and flowy. So if you're self-conscious about your arms in any way, that's going to be perfect for you. Again, it has pockets and I just really love the colors on this. I think it, they're to die for and they're perfect for fall. Now the jacket. I wish I did not love this as much as I do, you all. <laughs> I love the color. I love the way that it fits. It's very thick and it's, you can tell just kind of by putting it on, you know, obviously I haven't worn it out, so I don't know for sure, but you can tell from putting it on that the material is really nice. It's really well made. So I love this overall. And then I just showed you a quick clip of me having it, um, buttoned up just so you can see what it would look like. I would not wear it with this dress, but I love this one. Back into accessories world now. And the first thing that caught my eye is this freaking tote. Look at this. It's super roomy too. They have it in this also, and then a similar like that. But this for fall, get out. $40, not terrible. Oh my gosh, this one too. 45, perfect for fall. If you're looking for a little holiday bag, this is cute. They have that one, and then that one could even go too. Oh, these. That's adorable. For 12, that's not bad. And then this one, I just wish that it didn't have this like colorful tassel. How cute would it be if it was like maroon or something? But it's 12 as well. And then that one I'm sure is 12 as well. I love bobble bar jewelry and look. I'm in pajamas and I'm not gonna show you guys a ton over here, but I've tried these on before. Skims dupes for a fraction of the price. Moving into shoes, let's see what they have over here. It looks kind of still like summer. <laughs> this is so funny. It's like summer and eh, winter Christmas. So I know that these platform things are super popular, but they're just not, they're not the vibe for me personally, but that's basically everything that I'm seeing right now. Okay, now these, much more my vibe. I really like those. I love a good mule too. And I like all of these. They're really nice options, but I'm gravitating towards this one because I like the material of it better. Those are so pretty to me. And then coming over here, they had some of these very much Gucci dupes. Very pretty. And then these white ones are so cute too. They're a little bit off-white, but super pretty. Okay, we're making our way to home decor now. This is super pretty, only $15 too. Wow, guys, don't even look at those nails. I take that back. I love, love, love that one even more. If you switch up your sheet set seasonally, just know that I'm jealous of you and hope to be at your level one day, but <laughs> these are so so cute one little doormat all by themselves but it says trick-or-treat $13 very very cute oh here's some more things to match the first things that we saw these are really nice if you're like hosting a party you could get all of those matching things love that I feel like both of my local stores didn't go too crazy with Halloween or fall but I do like that one and that's okay these are nice too a little pop-up color but very black very simple I've shown a lot of this stuff too on TikTok so make sure that you're following me there you'll see those kind of beforehand but wait okay now that I love but yeah like overall you're not seeing anything that's like screaming out at you fall it's just kind of little subtle hints which I am a fan of but sometimes I like to go all out for the holidays I've shown this a thousand times, but I'm still absolutely obsessed with this. But for $30, or I think it's $30, I cannot justify that. Oh my goodness, they're already starting to release like hearth in hand Christmas. Oh, I can't wait, but 
I'm also not ready at the same time. I don't know though, it's very cute. Going into Halloween land over here in the corner. Um, first thing that catches my eye, love all of this. These are nice for decorating outside. Like I've told you guys before, I decorate Halloween outside, fall inside, but I do like these and a lot of these come in sets. So that's really nice too. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. A ton of inflatable options, but this guy, these are super cute. I like this, though I, I don't know what you do with it or what you put on it, but I do like it. And then I really love that. Only $10. I love these pre-built haunted houses. That one. And a cookie set as well. I found a couple of mini ones too. We're gonna check in books because I haven't been here for a while. I realized that Tessa Bailey just released this. Um, obviously have to read that for Christmas. There's a few more holiday books up here. That one looks so interesting. I'm reading Love Light Farms by this author right now. Love Emily Henry. I've read all of her books. That one I've been wanting to read. And then I'm very intrigued. If you have read these, please let me know because these covers are really catching my eye, but I don't have any idea about this author or what the book entails. So let me know. And this is an entire like book talk section. Obviously it's full of Colleen Hoover um, controversial. I have not read one Colleen Hoover book. Let me know if I'm missing out, but I feel like it's just overhyped. I don't know. Maybe I need to jump on the bandwagon, but Christina Lauren are my favorite author duos. To end this shopping trip, we're looking at all of the fall goodies. Let me know. Are you a candy corn person or not? Nah, I'm a candy corn person. I like these hot cocoa spoons. And then candy corn crunch here. And there's a couple of things on the other side I want to show you too. Those peanut butter chocolates look good. Those maples look good. But these candy corn crunch bark crisps look so good. We are back in the car now. Say hi to the people walking by me that are probably going to be looking at me. <laughs> um, I did not find anything that I absolutely felt like I had to have. I just love shopping around. I like getting ideas and Christmas is coming up and I'm fortunate to get pretty spoiled for Christmas. So I don't like to buy too much for myself at this time, but I hope that you enjoyed shopping with me. If you like these, just know that every single Wednesday I'm going to do videos that are fashion and shopping decor related whether that be hauls or we're going into stores and things like that so if you like this video please consider subscribing i also do vlogs every monday and friday or at least that's what i'm hoping to continue to do for now and i will catch you guys in the next one